binary files and put some links in your Oh. What it what it really does is it um, installs <coughs> packages to that particular profile uh, to this prefix okay. .geeks profile. It's as if you, you could imagine it as uh, slash opt. Okay. Okay. And could you so install system wide some package? Well, you could do that yes. uh, if if every user had that profile in their path. Yes, you can do that. Uh, it is also possible to, uh, one, one more thing, you can install packages into different profiles. So you're not limited to just one profile. Uh, some applications simply cannot install together. Like uh, SAMTools 1.3 cannot be installed with SAMTools 0.1 at the same time because they both provide bin SAMTools. That would clash and Geeks would have no way of telling which one is which. Right? So you can just say, uh, Geeks pack um, P, I don't know, path to some profile, okay? Yeah, really. Uh, and then hello, okay? Because now I've got these, these two hello versions, I don't want them to clash. <coughs> right, uh, that, yeah, correct. Thank you. This should work. Yeah, and now it tells me, helpfully, that I should add this. Yes, uh, uh, you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you say uh, installing a package is a pure functional application. Uh, it's if, you know, if there is no side effect. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. So is it possible to, to, to inherit a package? You said hello can uh, iterate with your own patch. Okay. Is it possible to, 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 to take care about, for example, the, na the host name of the machine uh, when you package, you think, because you have two, uh, uh, two servers, for example, which talk to each other. They are the same package installed, install, but uh, with uh, inverted configuration. Is it possible to handle that with some kind of I have difficulty understanding the... How to handle state. How to handle state. How to handle state, for example, if you have a to Apache web service, right? Yeah, for they example, have you, you, have to, you have to load balancer, for example, uh, uh, Rom, uh, Rom Robin, for example, with two servers. Each other <coughs> needs to know the counterpart. Okay. So yeah, they have the pretty same configuration, but the names of the pairs are reversed. This would be done in service configurations. Uh, what I've explained so far <coughs> is just packages. Yeah. Okay, packages come with standard configuration files, but what you're referring to is uh, having particular configuration files for different machines, yeah. is that right? Uh, we also have uh, a distribution extended out of the idea of Geeks, which is Geek System Distribution, and it can be configured similarly. Uh, this is my configuration, which is a bit messy, but um, it, uh, it allows you to define the operating system in a declarative manner. So you could uh, generate different ver different uh, variants of a configuration file for different systems and initialize them at whatever state you wish. Okay. So I can remove my configuration system actually. Yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> That's what I did anyway. Yeah. Um, th there were some more questions. Oh. Yes. Uh, uh, just you. Okay. Um, is there a bootstrap story? So for instance, do you in practice run install Gwix using Gwix, and if so, how do you manage rollback if there's a problem? Uh, when I first installed Gix, I used the, the binary, uh, the binary uh, distribution of Gix. You just download it, extract it, and then you can use Gix to, um, to create an environment in which you can build Gix from source. Uh, this is another great feature. I, it probably won't work because I don't have the right uh, I don't have internet here, but I can say Geeks environment Geeks, and it generates uh, it creates an environment, a shell, in which all the dependencies that Geeks needs are temporarily available. And then I can just install, uh, compile Geeks from scratch. Yeah. Yeah, the, the version, the, is there an easy way to roll back using some like blessed script, so you have to do some Geeks um, hacking around with some Geeks? What, what do you mean, an easy way to roll back? Well, I mean, one of the main features of good geeks is that you can roll back. Correct. Geeks itself breaks because you upgraded. 
back? It has never happened to me. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought about it. But I, but I can think about it and let you know later. You can manually redirect. Yeah, yeah, oh, yes, sure. Sure, you can. Uh, it's just symlinks, right? You can. Uh, but that's messy. I mean, that's. Yeah. There's going to be a more complicated solution to that. Um, yes? Yes, uh, for your Mathias specifies, you use a hash. Correct. How do you create many response to that feature automatically on the version? When we download the, uh, the tarball, mm -hmm. uh, you mean for the sources now? For example, how to keep track of version, for example, there's an URL with the latest version, mm -hmm. and the, but the hash will change with the... Uh, uh, correct. So when we upgrade uh, our package definitions, uh, we upgrade both the version and the and the hash. And we get the hash by just downloading the file. Uh, yeah, you just have to yes. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you, you can export from the store. You can import it. Th that's the uh, very rough manner to do it. Uh, you can also... Uh, we've got different levels at which this is possible. Yeah. Yes? Is there, is there a way to um, install uh, Geeks packages without any access? It is, um, the thing is that the, uh, currently the, the Geeks daemon runs as root. It is Apparently, it's possible to let it not run as root, but then you don't get complete isolation. That's uh, I haven't done it, but uh, the, the daemon has to run as root so far. Uh, but there's work on the way to get uh, to use Linux uh, user namespaces for that, uh, which would allow us not to have to use root for that. Thank you, Ricardo.